My name is Enosh Yamasam and I'm a student at Northern Technical College and I'm studying auto electrical. So for today, um, I'm doing a presentation on horn circuit. I'll be showing you how to construct the horn circuit. So for my components, I will need to have a battery, which is in place, a multimeter for testing all the components, a relay, a push button, a fuse, uh, we can use a 10 or a 15, but for this one it's a 15. Then pushing terminals, uh, the horn itself. Then we also have the pliers, a screwdriver and a cable stripper. Now that I have all my components in place, I will now first begin by testing my relay to see if it's okay, if it's fully functioning. So now what I will do is, I'll put my probes on 85 and 86. Just there. You have numbers on the relay to show you to say this is 85, this is 86. So for the 30, for the 30 and 87, uh, they cannot show continuity because this is where the contacts are. Now for 86 and 80 and 85, you, you now you, uh, you can get continuity. So you can hear a clicking sound from, from the multimeter, which means to say the relay is fine and fully functioning. So now after testing the, my relay, I will now test my push button switch to, say, to see if it's fully functioning. So now for the push button switch, I can put my probes anywhere, anywhere it does not have a negative or a positive. So for this one, once I click on, on the button, it shows continuity. If it was not okay, it would not show continuity. It will just be the same way as it is. Even after, uh, even before pressing the button, it would not show any continuity. It will just be the same, same reading on the, on, on, on the multimeter. So for this one, you can see to say it's okay. I will now test my horn to see if it's fully functioning. So the same goes for, for the horn, it has no positive or negative. So I put my black probe on this terminal and the red one on this one. And you can see we have continued, which means to say it's okay. So for my last component, I'll be testing my battery. First of all, what you have to do is you have to switch your multimeter to voltage. Since what we are testing is a 12 volt battery, our multimeter should be put on 20. Uh, why we put it on 20? To avoid damaging the multimeter because uh, you cannot be testing something at the same voltage. So what I will do first is I will put my red probe on the positive and my black probe on the negative and it shows continuity you can actually see from there it should it should read 12.4 12.5 somewhere here so if if the battery was about nine nine point something which means to say uh we could not do our our construction of, 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 of the circuit because it, it, it wouldn't work. So a battery needs to be somewhere around 12 or 11, somewhere there in the components can, can, can be put in place. 